Hey garden friends. So I'm gonna showcase a second pair of high C work boots. These are men's rubber working boots with an EVA midsole. They're relatively lightweight and they're waterproof and insulated. They happen to come with uh, a very soft and durable insole. It's breathable. It also comes with a, a sleeve that goes over the calf. Now, three quarters down, you could fold that sleeve and it allows you to, I guess, move around a little easier. And then in the inclement weather, you can go ahead and roll the sleeves back up. So as you can see, they're very lightweight, very easy to move in. As you know, usually wellies are relatively clumsy and cumbersome to move in. Here's a close up of the sole. It also contains like a bumper in the back, which protects your heel. And like I said, you can roll the sleeves back up uh, in more inclement weather. There's some buckles and a strap in the back that allows you to tighten the sleeve around your calf. So it's relatively effective out in, uh, out in the garden or the farm or wherever you choose to uh, wear these boots. So I'm gonna show you guys this, this, this pair of boots throughout the video and towards the end, I'll let you know what I think. So here I'm just doing a quick once over, just inspecting the bed to see what I got to do. Um, you know, the extent of the weeds, how much I got to work on pulling out and, you know, relative progress of the area. It's come a long way in the last three, three and a half, four months. Um, I've had to weed this area several times. So I guess I'll just have to get used to that being that it's uh, a newly planted area. Any, any newly planted or disturbed area um, will have a lot of weeds. And I must admit, I, I'm not using any mulch in this area. So um, you tend to have a lot of weeds. friends so as you can see this herb garden has gotten a little bit out of hand I'm gonna get in here and do a few tweaks just to get ahead of it because it's starting to um, produce a lot of weeds all over again I mean the weather's just perfect for that you got a lot of heat and considerable moisture so let me take you guys in a little closer to show you exactly what I'm working with so as you can see my Vera Lavender, and I have four within each quadrant, all right? So here's, here's one bush, here's two, three, and four, and it's repeated in that quadrant. So that's a total of eight Vera, eight Vera Lavender. I need to go in and lightly trim them. The old spent blooms need to come off. This, uh, this variety of rosemary, I believe is called ARP, and it is a very cold hardy 
variety of um, rosemary and I'm just very surprised how quick it has taken off. I know it's supposed to uh, get as tall or it has the potential to get as tall as five to six feet tall and three feet wide. But I mean, it's well on its way to being at least two feet. This one right here, it died. And so I just replaced it with that. So it's gonna take a while for it to uh, fill in this area. I'm gonna lightly go ahead and trim up all of the rosemary. I'm gonna trim back the lavender. And I got this tangled mess of Verbena bonariensis right here. Now it is beautiful, but it's becoming a tangled mess. I did try and tie it up, but I think what I'll have to do in the future is probably stake them and then tie it or the main leader to the stake. So that's my Verbena bonariensis, beautiful. And in the middle, which is kind of separating each quadrant, are some chives. I may end up cutting those back as well. And then afterwards, just give everything a really good watering. So, in mostly the shady areas, as you can see back here, this walkway is about three feet. It's starting to become a tangled, weedy mess. So, those are clearly the part shade weeds because it's a little sunnier over here. And as you can see, the weeds are sparse. So at least I know what kind of conditions these weeds are thriving in. So I need to stay on top of it. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna run through here with this, uh, with this D-shaped hoe. It's a pretty good tool for weeding I've sharpened the blades on both sides just to ensure we really get in there and scalp these, the heads of these weeds off. So this doesn't totally dig out the weeds, they just scalp the top off. And I'm good for that for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through here real quick and get that done. All right, so that didn't take too long. <laughs> it is some hard work though. But one thing to note about using this tool is that even though you can get in there and scalp the head of the weeds, which prevents photosynthesis because, you know, the plant needs the leaves for that action to take place. If you leave the weeds in place, where you scalp them, they can most likely grow back if they have sufficient moisture and sunlight. So what I'm gonna just do is go through here with the rake and get as many as I'm up as I can and uh, just kind of stay on top of it. You know, every couple weeks come in here and do the same thing. And that should pretty much keep them in check. All right, so I'm gonna pick this recording back up a little bit in the later afternoon hours so that, you know, the sun sets and it just looks a little better. Right now, it looks completely washed out. And I strive to provide quality recording for you guys. See? All right, so this looks much better. The colors are much more vivid and I think we could all see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna pick back up where I left off at and get in here, do a blitz weeding, then go ahead and trim back this rosemary, the chives, the lavender, and the 
verbena bonariensis. Chamomile seedlings right here. Starting to make their way back. So y'all love my chamomile, but it can be very seedy. Alright guys, so here's a quick update of the shearing of the outer edge, which is the ARP Rosemary. So I want it to look nice and full, so I didn't cut too much off. But I was sure to get a nice straight edge. Nice straight edge. One, two, three. be sure to replace most of these chives I think each row I'm missing probably two or three so that's a goal for the fall <laughs> well guys I know it's the end of the video and like I said I'll go ahead and let you know how I thought these boots performed they're relatively comfortable, great cushion, great support, and it's pretty, they're pretty sturdy. So overall, I give it a solid B plus. The only reason I give it B plus is because it's pretty hot right now. So no fault of the boot, but um, in optimum conditions, I think this boot will perform pretty well. 
Thanks for joining me on this episode, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, I know it's a little late, but um, here's the end result. I know it looks kind of wild, but um, I'm very impressed with this ARP Rosemary. It really stooled out well. It bunched out really well. And I think uh, if I continue to take good care of this hedge, it'll last for a long time. As you can tell, the lavender, which is a lighter color in the middle, has been trimmed back. See that? I decided to leave the Verbena benariensis untrimmed because I kind of like that wild look. Um, I will change out that ornament, that pineapple ornament, and put an urn, which you guys will see shortly in another video. This area back here, I had all the chamomile, which didn't do so well. It didn't do so well this year. And so I intend on putting something else back here, another herb. Not sure what yet. All right, guys, till the next one.